Alright, we're going to make a Phil C video today. Um, the topic, I want to hear your thoughts on, um, you know, about ranking and basically, well, you say there's a decision between like coming here and then there's no rank to obtain where you just train and, and just enjoy the training or there's a ranking system kind of like what's established now. Your thoughts on that? Because um, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, and there's, there's, you know, I just want to hear everybody's thoughts and their ideas. Because I want to make like a system that is, if I do make a ranking system, which I have, I need to make it um, uphold to the standards that that I want it to represent. And as I'm teaching, I'm, I'm seeing that it's gonna, I'm gonna have to make it even harder than it already is. And to the point where I make it so hard, it's almost like, I don't, it, I'm not sure if it's gonna serve its purpose of motivating people any longer. It may demotivate people, you know? So, I don't wanna do that either. So, I wanna hear everybody's thoughts. We'll start from you and we'll just go off the uh, Um. Well, in other schools I've been in, um, most rankings, ranking, the ranking system was based off of merit, time you spent in the school, uh, physical requirements, forms you mastered. Um, in this school, I feel like there needs to be more than that, but not in the sense of more physical, more merit, more um, more forms to master. While those are important, I feel like it's it's necessary to have a spiritual readiness for the next rank. Um, I mean, you know, like for example, the white rank is beginning. It's, 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 you're just starting, you're just learning your understanding. As, as you advance to red, you should have the spiritual understanding of at least what you're trying to teach, not necessarily all martial arts, but you should have an advanced spiritual understanding in the rank, and that spiritual understanding should increase as the ranks increase, um, in addition to the, to the physical merits and the forms. But there has to be an equal balance of spiritual and physical. What if there was just no ranking? Um, if there was no ranking, guys like me would be fine. But I know there are some people who, who will try for the physical, and it's through the physical that they gain the spiritual ranking, because they learn that their, their bodies are, are, are finite and temporary, and that they can they can fail. And through through that failure, through that understanding, they can gain spiritual knowledge. No ranking system would possibly eliminate that. I think for 
people they want to really really want to tra uh, training, they're gonna be okay with this. But people they just want to come in and try it and everything, they might be not gonna like it. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> for myself, I think I don't know how do you want to make it, but I think it is hard because every time we're training and we're not doing anything right, you just go home and say like, okay, well. I need to work on this, I need to do this. So you motivate yourself more because you say, okay, well, you need to work on this. And then you go home and okay, so it's like basically you say, this is your home. You know, you leave home and you say, okay, well, you need to work on this. And to me, um, I like it and I, I agree and, and, and say that you should make a, a desk a little bit more harder because some of the schools is just make it easy and just give you away like, okay, you are already in, in red. Okay, and what is next? Blue, okay, well, now to get a blue, it's harder. And I think, um, you know, the way you have it right now, I think it's, it's good. No rigging, I think not a lot of people, they're gonna just not, gonna motivate yourself, like say, okay, well, now, like myself, I say, okay, well, now I'm red, but now I'm gonna go to the blue, and that is make me motivate myself by the time I come training here. And every time we see them right here, and every time I see the blue, and I, in my mind say, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this one, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna work hard, yeah. and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this, and I know I'm gonna do this, and, and this is motivating yourself by the time. For you guys, to get a red is gonna be, it's, it's easy, but then it's harder too, because. You gotta train in every day. You gotta work hard more than, than, than get a red. For me to get a blue is like almost impossible. But every day I come here, I say, well, it's not impossible. I gotta do this and I gotta do this. So I think it's it is the way you have it right now. I think it's good. But if you wanna make it more harder, some people they might be not gonna like it, but some people they gonna say, yes, let's do this because I like it and I wanna do it. More harder is more more. More um, motivating. Right. Maybe you should add yeah. orange. <laughs> <laughs> add more colors. Thank you. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, so for me, I've been experimenting with the no rank path. Is that is that breaking up or is it okay? No, you're just like really loud. <laughs> it's just funny that that you're like in Canada. You're louder than everybody here. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear it in back me, so it kind of trips me out. Okay. But yeah, I've been experimenting with the no rank path, and this was one of the things that really drew me to FMK was the opportunity to do this. I've, I've um, been involved in several martial arts over my lifetime, and uh, always there was rank involved. And I've never had an opportunity really to work with a group where there, where I didn't didn't have to uh, conform to that to that ranking system. Um, I see it as uh, the no rank path as as a, as an opportunity to just um, uh, almost like be more pure in the art where you don't have to work. You know, you're not concerned about external symbols, but you're just really into um, enjoying. Uh, the joy of the practice, uh, the joy of the art itself. Um, at the same time, though, there's, you know, there's, um, as I'm experimenting with this, I do have to deal with some of my own, I don't know if it, it's even, I wouldn't call it jealousies, but there's times when, I, when I'm envious of the, of the people that are involved with the rank. You know, if there has to be a rank system, um, I think the path that you've laid out for the Todai Sifu is, is a really good uh, system, just the red and the blue and the, and the black and what each of those, um, what each of those ranks stand for in FMK uh, is, a, is, I think that's a really nice uh, system and there's times when definitely, you know, I start feeling like, well, should I go ahead and participate in that? Because, you know, part of it is, part of that, um, that system too is kind of cohesion with the group, right? So, for instance, you know, somebody that starts earning rank um, in just about any school, 
especially the higher ranks when you get up there it it involves an extra commitment to the school like a lot of places i know if you if you're a black belt you're not only paying your tuitions but over and above that um black belts are really you know responsible economically and otherwise for a lot of aspects of the of the school um that you know that part of that part of that cohesion and that belongingness and that doing something as a group um that social aspect of it sometimes draws me to where I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little bit envious of people, of everybody that's participating in that. At the same time, I want to keep going with the experiment and see, you know, what it's like to work outside of that ranking system. But if you have to have a system, I would say that the system within FMK is a really good ranking system. The, the obstacle that you're going to run into with it, which you run into with, with you know, any, um, any system where you have an external symbol of, a, of your status is that um, either motivation is going to fall away once somebody's achieved that status, once somebody's earned the rank or whatever, they might not be as motivated anymore. Um, and the, you know, in the martial arts, the big joke is always the, you know, the fat black belt, right? The guy that, the guy that gets up there, but then, uh, everything falls away and he's just and he just loses all his fitness and you know it can also the other aspect of it that i see is it can be a false um it can give you a false security right somebody that somebody that gets a high ranking um might feel like you know they've 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 got some real skills but you can come across somebody that has you know no ranking at all that um, ha has far more skills than they do. And so a lot of times, you know, in society, that ranking is used, it's almost like abused in ways because they'll say, you know, what is, what ranking are you? Who are you to teach me? You know, if you don't have such and such a, such and such a rank from, you know, some re renowned school. But you can have a guy really train his ass off for a couple of decades outside of any any formal ranking system and um we would be a, probably a far better instructor far better sifu than you know somebody that's went through you know the four four years or whatever in one of these commercial schools and got their you know did their test every 90 days and got their next stripe up to their black belt or whatever right so i don't know you know to me that the whole ranking system is so like there's there's so many drawbacks to it and so many pitfalls to it that I'm excited to to have an opportunity to try to do without it and it, you know it's not to say that doing without it is not challenging in itself because like I said there because there is a ranking system in FMK there's always that little doubt that maybe I should be participating in that maybe I'm not supporting the coon by if I'm not participating in that right so. That's that's my perspective right now. <laughs> all right, thank you for sharing. Um, putting all these uh, ideas into consideration, and I've, this is not the first time that I uh, have thought about stuff like this. And I think that during that um, transition phase of when I decided at a brief period to eliminate the ranking, that's exactly when you joined, you know, and that's that's a great thing. Um, see that everybody's at different levels. It's so hard to create a ranking system because everybody's so unique. You know, like the way Charlie was born, for example, that's unique. Not a lot of people are there. Born. I was born. Yeah, and the way everybody's born, you know, like, and the way, like, some people are, they're really into the spiritual, they read a lot of books, and they are very advanced in that aspect. Some people are very advanced in the physical aspect and they lack the spiritual. And some people are very, like, they, they really love the, the combative aspect, and they just love studying that. This is so, so many people at different um, interest levels. And I see, like, why schools, like, choose, like, what they specialize in. Because, you know, how we start off with certain forms, like the 12-foot form, the techno-no form, it's almost like 
the majority of the population won't even get beyond those two forms. And, and it's almost like when we have so many people practicing the same forms, it seems as if that's what the school is, but it's not. But the fact of the matter is a lot of people, they don't really put the time and the value in the martial arts that they, that they put into other things in their lives, such as their careers or in schooling. Like, people don't have a problem going, you know, you know, going to college and getting a, you know, trying to get a bachelor's. They don't mind going for four years, but to come to martial arts school and to work four years towards a certain ranking, they think that's too much. You know, they always want like the easy, the easy, um, they want the easy way. They want things quick. You know, so, just even right now, the people that do have the rank, the red ranking, um, I'm experimenting with the way that I'm handling and managing the, the people with rank and seeing how they responsible they are with the rank. It's almost like the red rank is almost like, um, in a way, like acting as if that's the that's the black belt, acting as if the, that's the that's the um, that's the black rank. How would you act if that was the black rank? You know, would you still come late? Would you just take time off whenever you feel like it? Would you? Let yourself go. I mean, you know, how responsible will you be? And I'm kind of experimenting with the red one, and I'm seeing that there's flaws that I that I that I, that I don't like that I want to get fixed. So basically, what I want to do, I know the blue rank takes a long time to get to. I want to make the red one difficult as well, more difficult than it is. So not only will it be the physical fitness standards that are required, but um. I'm leaning towards like having the people stay for at least a year before they can even get the opportunity saying. to test for the red brands. You know what I'm saying? saying? For at least a year. Of course. You know, and um, that shows like that they're connected to the school. You know, and it also gives me the opportunity to get to know them too. And also, basically, I'm trying to build discipline within these people. So, for example, somebody might be born physically gifted and could get all the red rank no problem. But then they lack discipline. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't want to train. They come like once a month or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not teaching them the discipline to come in day in and day out and work hard towards getting to a higher level. So, one of the changes I want to make is to make at least a year for the people to get to the red. And then another change is that they're pretty, I mean, it hasn't been a change. It's already part of the rules, but people I guess don't pay attention. But you got to train at least once a week. At least. You know, um, unless they have to take time off, then it has to be approved, just like a job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get approval time off. You can't just take time off whenever you feel like it. You know, so I want to implement those two towards the rank. Now, the people that don't care for rank, then okay, whatever. But the people that do want the rank, they have to abide by those. Um, and the badge is supposed to be one of the symbols, you know, to symbolize the rank, but I can already tell right now, I, I want to take away the rank from maybe about four people. And I don't, I don't you know, I don't know how hard it's going to be, if it's going to make the people want to quit, that's not going to serve its purpose. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to force taking things back. Um, but I'm going to talk to them and get them to understand that they need to represent the rank on call. So if I tell a person you're testing today and they don't pass the test, then they got to give back the badge. So it's not just, sure. it's not going to be by the year anymore, it's going to be by the day. If I feel the person can't meet the, up to fit, certain fitness standards, I feel like your testing is today. If you can't do it, then they got to submit the badge. That's how I want to do it as well. So it would be like a spontaneous testing that they don't know about. And I think that's realistic to combat because you don't know when the, the, the person's going to attack you many times. It just comes out of nowhere. So it could be a day where the right person's a red rank. I'm like, today's your test. Can't pass the test, then they got to get the badge back. Um, if they don't want to get the badge back, whatever, but I'm going to take them down from the website. That's going to be my main control right there. Um, the people that have rank that are active, they're going to remain on the website, but if they're not active, I'm going to take them off. So that's going to be the main controller right there. But some people, um, like for example, some, a lot of the Reds might not even watch this video. They don't even keep updated. They don't keep updated with the blog posts. They don't keep updated with the videos. And that's another thing I want to require too. People get to the Red, maybe make at least one once a week blog post. 
you know, so they get more connected to people in the school. You know, like, put effort to get to know the other people. So I'm going to put, I'm going to make it harder, basically, to get to the red. So then once they get to the blue, it's not a big change. It's like something that they're used to. But right now, as far as it is right now, it's, it's not hard enough. I'm not satisfied with the way the, the, the rank is being represented by some of the people. So, there's going to be, be some changes in that respect. Now, if it demotivates people, um, I think it's not really going to be a factor because I already see people being demotivated already, regardless if they had a rank or not. So, um, it's always going to be a, a challenge, no matter what rank you get to, red, blue, black, or whatever. The problem is demotivation. Are you going to get demotivated after you get to the red? Are you going to get demotivated after you get to the blue? Or are you going to get demotivated when, after you get to the black? The fact of the matter is, you still got to deal with that deal with that demotivation. And that's what we have to overcome. The ability to progress without um, allowing ourselves to allow ourselves to get lazy and, and things like that. Um, so, even though the red ranks, not all of them are meeting up to the standards that I, that I wish to have represent, at least it's not the black. You know what I'm saying? Like you'd rather have around have people walking around with a bunch of fat red shirts than fat <laughs> black shirts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because that's gonna be a huge you know, that that's so why I'm fixing the problem right now so in the future there you know, it's gonna minimize these problems. But the the red is where it starts and I already see flaws. So when it gets to the blue, when that one person gets to the blue, they better be making they better make sure they represent the way it's supposed to be represented because there's only going to be one person representing it and that's going to be a lot easier to manage than 11 people you know what I'm saying like right now let's say there's 11 people in the red shirt I gotta manage all 11 people there might be five of them that are misrepresented that I need to discipline um, and then six that are represented the way it's supposed to be so the less people that are representing the rank the easier it is to keep it non-corrupted um, but that's just the, the way that the, you know the way that it is, and I start to see this, and I'm gonna have to talk to the people that I have that I feel need to um, basically up up their game and um, represent it the way it needs to be represented. So I gotta talk to those people. But this video is just kind of updating everybody on my thoughts on this whole thing. Now, as far as the people that don't care for rain, I mean. Just train, enjoy your training, you know what I mean? That's all I say, you know, because that's what's important. You know, it's like the foundation is showing up and working out. You know, it's, you know, not, not, oh, this person's fit, this person's not. And the person that's fit never comes to train. It's like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Who's getting involved? Who's training? Who's trying to get to know people? Who's, like, contributing to the coup? Not just who's fit or who's spiritual, or who knows how to spar well. It's like, that's not, that's not what's all important. It's like, who is here, and who is training with us together, you know? Like, that's what's important. And then this other stuff comes after. You know, okay, what's good if you know how to spar, but you never show up? You know, what's good is if you're spiritual, you're wise, but nobody knows who you are, you know? What's good is if you're, if you're fit, but then you're still not here, you know, I mean, it's just... So I need to focus on developing, and as we progress, as this thing is uh, developing, i got to develop a better system. It's never going to be flawless, but at least we got to make it, like, the best effort we can to make it um, least likely of being corrupted. You know, that's the way that I see it. You know, so thank you for uh, your input and everybody else. All right. See, see food. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was just going to say, you know, part of it, um, like, you know, I took like eight years off of martial arts. And uh, coming back in with the rank, with, a, with having the option to do no rank, I think, you know, my hope is that having no rank is going to help alleviate taking time off again. Right, that is not going to happen. Okay. But, um, you know, like for me, right, it's 
important because um, I want to know what I need to do. You see, like I haven't, um, I trained a long time ago, 15 years ago. I, I did Aikido and, and other things, and I knew what. I was told what I need to do to get to the next level, and that was not motivating me. I'm motivated from, by, from a different source, but at least I need to know what I, what I need to work towards. So I think red is important personally for me because I need to know how many sit-ups, how many push I need to just know because I, I, there's no way I can evaluate myself, you know? I, I just, I, I don't have a tr I don't have a experience in fitness, I don't have an experience in the gym, so I don't really know how much I have to bench press. So this, uh, factors. I mean, these indicators are helping. So I, I kind of want to have that. Uh, I don't know what's going to be after the, after, uh, after I reach red, but I'm not really concerned with the shirt. I'm concerned with my level of fitness, and, that, and that's, yeah. that's it. You know, and I just want to grow. That's what I do. And whether I'm going to get the shirt, I'll get the shirt when I deserve it. I don't want it if I don't deserve it because it doesn't make any sense. See, it's not me, for the shirt. It's for something else. And for, for me, like the. The, the granting of rank is, it's not just a physical achievement on my part, but it's its a trust between me and Sifu. Yeah. Sifu says, okay, I've seen you're in the school enough, now I'm going to teach you more. And the rank is a symbol of now he's teaching us more. It's a trust thing. Yeah. And that's why I want to strive for the next rank, because it's its its a trust. That's how it, yeah, it's like a mobilization. It's right. like a prize. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. Exactly. Rather than just, uh, I don't know, the way to boost your ego and show off that yeah. you know, it's, it's not like the SATs or, or the, the mm -hmm. stupid little test you have to take once. No, it's it's a continuous thing that, can, that always, it that always just, evolves, that's, always that's moves. This journey, not the destination. I, I remember that I was talking to the guy who goes to Krav Maga and he says that they have training, like just like I said, tests every 90 days. I think Ryan, you said it, yes. So whether or not, whether they're ready or not, they have to test. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes if the trainers in a good mood, he's going to let them pass. If he's in a bad mood, he's not going to let them pass. So that's what he says. It's not the indication of anything. Yeah. They need to train, and, and they're training, and, 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 and if he's in a good mood, he's going to take them exactly. to the next level. If he's not, he's not going to take them, and they have to pay again and test it in 90 days, yeah. which doesn't really matter, and I mean, doesn't defeat the purpose of training. Well, and on Sifu's part, too, I mean, there has to be that discipline. If, if you achieve that rank, you achieve, a, you achieve a new standard of discipline, and if yeah. you don't maintain that standard of discipline, it's time it's to lose go. that rank. It's yeah. time to lose that rank and get demoted. I've seen that in schools, and I've I've severe respect for that for those schools that have the. I mean, let's be honest, to have the balls to demote somebody. Yeah. But but it's 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 a standard. If you're not achieving the standards of the school or the school, yeah. you shouldn't have the rank. I agree. And it should be that simple. I agree. And, and, and that's if you don't want to come, fine. You lo you, you lose. There's, you there's, no, there's nothing. Because then it just becomes a shirt, and it's not about being a shirt, and it's exactly. not about pro proving anything to anybody. I, I just like the fact that Sifu watches our progress, and he, he, he tells you when you're ready, and that's how it's supposed to be. Exactly. It's not like you coming in, oh, I'm ready, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and you're going to give me the shirt. Right. It never should be like that. It's like Sifu was saying earlier, I mean, how, yeah, I mean, how I mean, can you progress in rank if you can do this, this, and this, but you're not disciplined? You're not disciplined, and, and you have go, egos of the size of the Eiffel Tower, you know? You're going to go bully someone outside, or go, go beat someone up just because you get angry and use the techniques that Sifu taught you, that's a bad reflection on the school. Yeah, and that's a danger to all of us. Yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated, but... There, there has to be a balance to, before you can achieve the next rank. I agree. I think if we have it all figured out, I, I trust you. Oh, yeah. yeah, but it's really good to get you guys' input. I mean, because really, how many schools you go to where and you get, the, you get the, the students' input actually <laughs> coincides with the decision of the outcome of what happens, happen. you know? I've never been <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It could, be, it, could, it could be seen like you're t it's taking away from you, but it's, uh, it's not because you're just involving us with the coin. That's why it's not even Sam's school was like this. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Because most schools are, are based on tradition. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. th that tradition is what sticks. But here, um, we're, this, is, this is a new, a new school, a new way. So you guys are help establishing that way. So everybody that comes in after you guys, the, you guys are helping to establish that system to make sure that everybody's in line. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you guys are part of like in a way, like part of the founders of helping establish the structure. So then there could be more of a flawless system of ranking. So we can fix the problems that we see. Yeah. You know that in other schools. 
that the problems that you see, you know, people that have rank that don't deserve it anymore. Sure. And that's the hard part is like try to like you said, going up to somebody saying demote and depromoting them or you know, yes, that's the know, hard part. Because you don't wanna you don't want them to leave, no. but at the same time you gotta have these this standard. Yeah, this yeah. You know that's why if you communicate us that this is the change, that's how we're gonna do it from now on. You pick and choose what you wanna do. If you wanna rank, this is what needs to be done. Sifu, this is your school and yeah. your rules. Yeah. yeah. That's everybody who steps through the doors should know that. And if and they don't accept yeah, exactly. that they don't belong. As much as you yeah. value our input, you are yeah. still the master of the school. Yeah. And, it, and you make the rules. It's like if, if say, I went up to my, my grandfather, because my dad wasn't that great, but if I went up to my grandfather and told him how to run his house, I would get smacked out the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't, tell, you don't, tell, you, exactly. you don't tell the elders how to run their house. Yeah. You can input, you can suggest, but you can't command. You can't yeah. command. But in order to command, you need to get to the certain level, but if you're at the certain level, you don't even want to command. That's the whole point. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. It's just so easy to communicate, but it's harder to understand. And exactly. I understand that. Everybody has a different needs and expectations, and we have to be honest that some people have a different expectation. But this is not the place when you grow your ego. This yeah. is not the place when you grow Check your ego. ego at the door. And I think that's Derek's. Like when I talk to him, that's his biggest problem. That he says that he's got an ego problem, and he, is, he has to be very careful. And he just always says that. Um, you know, I, I just have to be careful and I just have to look around because other people have the ego problem too, but they just don't recognize it. And it's very dangerous because it, it's, it's going to end up hurting them because that's what see, ego does. I wouldn't peg, peg him as someone who has an ego problem. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see that. Exactly. That's because he's trying to humble himself. Mm -hmm. Humble people aren't, say, aren't going around bragging saying, I'm the humblest guy I know. No, I have, that's I have arrogance. No ego, yes. if you, the, more, the more you say, oh, I'm terrible and I need to, I need to improve, mm -hmm. that's the proof that you're humble and you're, you're deserving Absolutely. of that rank. And it's just, you're right, it's surrender and, um, it's a and focusing on what like George said, and I really like his approach. It's coming every day and just looking at the blue and just being motivated and just shutting up and doing the work. Because that's, a, that's okay. what's every all about. I'm doing push-ups, I'm looking at that red. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying the red dresses to see how I'm doing it. Because red's my favorite color. Anything that motivates you. Exactly. All right, thank you for the input. Everybody, let's get up, let's bow. Thank you.